To my people and all of my people, you know who it is. It's me, the Nappy Hippie. And I just wanted to let y'all in on something. It's something that I'm battling at a as a current entrepreneur. Um, is realizing the grass ain't green on the other side and everything and what it always seems to be. And what I mean by that is just because someone makes it look easy or they give you a step-by-step a guide to making your business be this this uh level or that level it's not that easy and it wasn't that easy for them and that's when i'm realizing i thought that being that i had a plan or a great idea or a great art that the money the uh attention the niche the content would come easy to me but that is not the case a lot of the content that you create does not work for you and It doesn't mean that your brand isn't working for you or your art isn't working for you. It just means you need to go about your art differently. And so there's a lot of trial and error with owning your own business. This is coming from facts. This is coming from me understanding that. And it's tough. Um, Just keep your head up and just research the artist, the clothing brand that you want to be like, you aspire to be similar to. Do your research on them. Um, they bite it an idea and made it theirs. And so sometimes when we lose our creative sauce, we need to gain it back by inspiration. And so if something inspires me that brings springs up an idea that I make for myself, I'm not stealing. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't duplicate. Don't make dupes of somebody else's brand, idea, and art. Make it your own. Um, example, um, I'm working on something, and it was involving a tour. Oh, shit. Like me, that brought an idea to me on how I can make me being an, a rapper into my clothing brand. And then I put my own sauce on the idea of having a tour just inspired me and artists if you do see a duplication of your shit you're that guy don't see it as anything like more than you're that guy you are impacting a life and if you really know yourself and you really tapped in and you really are confident in your art you will be able to see that Just because, this is an example I use all the time, you know what I'm saying? Burger King, on that same street, there's a Wendy's or a McDonald's. You can't, there's not a street where a McDonald's is, there's not a Burger King or Wendy's, bro. And whoever was there second, whoever was plotting on being on that street second, they did not see that McDonald's and be like, well, I don't know if we're going to sell burgers because McDonald's is up the street. Nah, bruh. Nah, because look, the Whopper, the the Burger King fries is way better than the McDonald's fries. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Then Wendy's, they got the square burgers. You know what I'm saying? So what that whatever that was, that extra, just having confidence in your art, man. That's all it is. Have confidence in your art. And you can literally be on the same strip with a nigga, but your sauce ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Yo, look, it, it, look, McDonald's have their own sauce. You know what I'm saying? Burger King ain't got their own sauce. Wednesday ain't got their own sauce. But they all got sweet and sour sauce, and none of them taste the same. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you have the same shit, but it ain't the same shit. Bro, focus on you. And if you need an idea, bro, don't be scared to find inspiration within other brands or other people or other art, music. I lead with someone, with someone's idea, but I don't finish off with their, like, no, like, you know, you just got me going. Don't be discouraged. Don't stop. Don't stop, y'all. And I'm speaking from experience, bro. I've been being, I've been owning my own business and building my business for five months and my pauses <clears throat> because of lack of confidence and creativity has been pushing me back <coughs> abundantly and now I'm like 
scrambling for answers and cash and shit. I just got to remember that I'm her, I'm him, my art is the shit, and someone's going to admire it. And 10 people can walk past you, but that 11, 13, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th person will fuck with your shit. So don't be discouraged when the first 10 people walk past your shit. And that's what I'm practicing because it's only up for here. I mean, you got to find something that keeps you going so you won't stop so you can see bigger results. That's where the point I am in my life, with my journey, with this business. Support Nappy Hippie. Nappy Hippie Tees online for only 10 bucks right now. You got crystal jewelry. You got customs. If you got some stones that you want me to create, send them to me. I'll, I'll wrap up and send them back to you for a fee. And it's up from here, man. I support you. You support me. And we just rocking out like that. That was my little message to my people. Share and subscribe to my YouTubes. I have the Navi Hippie Podcast. And I also have the Navi Hippie Reactions channel. I am working on making more videos for those channels. And like I said, it's only up for here. I'm working on consistency and being in my bag and staying in it. And I appreciate everyone that has supported me and bought my music. It's me on all platforms. ITS, ME, no apostrophe. And... We going up, man. I got so far. I got one point K streams on my shit. I got people in Germany, Tokyo, listening to me, and I got people in cities that I've never even heard of: North Carolina, New Jersey, and all that. So I really appreciate y'all, man. And just let those little wins keep you going. We always talk about this. Let's do it, y'all. Let's eat. Nabby Hibby is out.